In this video, we'll share the top 25 things to do in Seoul. At number 1, we have Gyeong Bugong Palace. This historic palace, dating back to 1395, is a testament to Seoul's rich history. Visitors can witness the changing of the guard, explore the grand palace gates, and enjoy the serene pond. Dressing up in traditional hanbok clothing grants free entry, adding a unique twist to the experience. At number 2, we have Bukchon Hanok Village. This preserved area showcases traditional Korean architecture with its pointed roofs and wooden frames. As a living neighborhood, it offers a genuine glimpse into the past. At number 3, we have N Seoul Tower. To reach this panoramic viewpoint, visitors can hike up the Namsan Mountain or take the Namsan Cable Car. The mountain is topped with cafes, shops, and viewing decks. The N Seoul Tower offers the city's highest view. At number 4, we have Changdeo Gong Palace and the Secret Garden. This UNESCO World Heritage Site, once the primary royal residence, is a marvel of traditional architecture. Its secret garden, with landscaped lawns, ornate pavilions, and a lotus pond, is a breathtaking sight. At number 5, we have Starfield Library. This stunning library boasts an open-plan layout with towering bookcases. It's a perfect blend of architectural beauty and a peaceful reading spot, attracting both tourists and locals. At number 6, we have Bongunsa Temple. Dating back to 794, this historic temple in the Gangnam area is a serene escape from the city's hustle. The temple features traditional pagodas, colorful lanterns, and a giant Buddha statue, offering a peaceful and culturally rich experience. At number 7, we have Seoul Forest. This large park offers shaded walkways, a deer park, botanical garden, insect garden, and butterfly garden. It's an ideal spot for nature lovers and those seeking a tranquil escape within the city, especially beautiful during cherry blossom season. At number 8, we have Gwangjang Market, a paradise for food lovers. This market is filled with stalls serving homemade Korean dishes. The bustling atmosphere and variety of food options make it a perfect spot for an authentic culinary adventure. At number 9, we have Changyeonggung Palace. This palace shares the secret garden with Changdeogung Palace. It is known for its beautiful gardens and intimate courtyards. Here, you'll find the Grand Greenhouse, a serene botanic garden in a beautifully ornate glass greenhouse. At number 10, we have Lot World. This unique theme park features classic rides, a hot air balloon ride, a haunted house, and 3D attractions. Its whimsical fairy tale theming and delicious food stalls make it a fun destination for all ages. And now a word from our sponsors. When it comes to traveling, one major risk that many people overlook is cyber hacking. Public Wi-Fi networks in airports, hotels, and cafes can easily expose your data to hackers anywhere we roam. Even using mobile data makes you vulnerable to potential surveillance and intrusions. That's why protecting your privacy with a VPN is absolutely essential when you're on the move. And that's where private internet access comes in. PIA creates an encrypted tunnel to safeguard all of your online activity whenever and wherever you connect while traveling. So no more worrying about your passwords, bank accounts, emails, or personal info being intercepted over an unsecured connection in a foreign country. PIA secures all your browsing and blocks anyone from tracking your location or logging what sites you visit. If you're looking at traveling soon, then Private Internet Access is offering three months free on their subscriptions and 82% off if you use one of the links in the description. So now you've got your VPN, let's get back to the video. At number 11, we have Gyeonggui Line Forest Park. This 6.3 kilometer park, stretching through trendy neighborhoods like Hongdae and Yeonnam-dong, offers a peaceful green space in the urban landscape. At number 12, we have Cheonggyeokeon Riverwalk. This scenic riverside area is perfect for a sunset or early morning walk. It's a popular spot for locals and tourists alike, offering a peaceful ambiance amidst the city's skyscrapers. At number 13, we have Itaewon. Known as the foreigner's hub in Seoul, Itaewon is vibrant with shops, restaurants, bars, and unique activities. It's particularly lively at night, making it a great spot for experiencing Seoul's nightlife. At number 14, we have Ikseondong Hanok Village. This traditional village offers narrow streets lined with shops, cafes, and restaurants. It's a charming area to explore on foot, offering a blend of traditional and modern Korean culture. At number 15, we have Myeongdong, a shopping paradise. Myeongdong is bustling with malls, stores, and the famous Myeongdong Night Market. It's a must-visit for shopaholics and foodies alike. At number 16, we have Insadong. This neighborhood is a blend of modern and traditional, with independent shops, authentic Korean restaurants, and themed cafes. 
It's a colorful and artistic area, perfect for exploring Seoul's unique culture. At number 17, we have Jogyesa Temple. Located in Insadong, this traditional Buddhist temple is known for its hundreds of colored lanterns that fill the sky during the Spring Lotus Lantern Festival. Visitors can participate in the tradition of hanging a lantern with a prayer or wish, adding to the temple's spiritual ambience. At number 18, we have Liam Samsung Museum of Art. This museum, showcasing a blend of traditional Korean and contemporary art, is a feast for art enthusiasts. The works are housed in three distinct buildings, each designed by a renowned architect. At number 19, we have Gangnam District, known worldwide thanks to the hit song, Gangnam Style. This trendy area is a glimpse into modern, upscale Seoul. With excellent restaurants and shopping, Gangnam is a must-visit for those seeking the contemporary side of the city. At number 20, we have Hongik University Street. This area is the heart of Korean youth culture, bustling with energy and creativity. It is known for its indie music, vibrant nightlife, and arts and crafts market. At number 21, we have the War Memorial of Korea. This massive complex is dedicated to the military history of Korea, offering a profound insight into the nation's past conflicts. At number 22, we have Hangang Park. This park along the Han River is perfect for outdoor activities and relaxation. With its scenic views and ample space, it's a favorite spot for both locals and tourists to unwind. At number 23, we have the National Museum of Korea. This museum is a treasure trove of Korean history and culture, featuring artifacts from ancient times to the modern era. At number 24, we have Bukhansan National Park. Located less than an hour from the city center, this national park offers a refreshing escape with its scenic hiking trails leading to stunning views. At number 25, we have Dong De Moon Design Plaza. Designed by world-renowned architect Zaha Hadid, this area is a cultural hub in Seoul, featuring a 24-hour shopping complex, exhibitions, a museum, and high-tech light shows. So that sums up my top 25 things to do in Seoul. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like on the video, and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Until next time, have a great day.